An investigation involving creatine and protein powders ends with a local high school football coach having to sit this year out. He cannot be head coach at his school. Now, this is creatine. Teenage athletes can buy it. But the WIAA says coaches, their players, and creatine cannot mix. The lights are off, the field is empty, but that doesn't mean the intensity has gone in Wapaka County's Manawa. Sorry. I'm, I'm very passionate about this. Don Johnson's talking about the situation of Little Wolf varsity football head coach Brad Johnson, who signed an agreement saying he won't be head coach this year. We were devastated. Our entire family was devastated when we heard about it. I couldn't believe it. In a letter to the WIAA, the school said it investigated Johnson's unauthorized distribution of performance-enhancing supplements, specifically creatine and protein powders, to student-athletes. The letter says it happened between September 2016 and September 2017, and the school principal got a tip in March of this year. Creatine is not on the WIAA's banned list, but it is at the top of their discouraged list, which also includes protein powders. The WIAA says coaches may not provide or allow discouraged items in school sports. Dawn says that Johnson had her permission when he gave protein powder to her son, Zach, who played football and wrestled for Johnson. My kids can come home with candy and soda and whatever the teachers or bus drivers want to give them without my permission. You know, so I thought it's, it's protein powder. It's not bad for him. He had my permission, so I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. I, I ran out and I was planning on going to the store in a couple of days to get more, so he just let me get a couple of scoops for two days, and that was it. This was during when you were playing football? Uh, this was during between football and wrestling season. Okay. Zach says that coach did not give him creatine. None of this was ever required to take this creatine? Or no, protein, it wasn't so. uh, ever. Zach and his mom, Don Johnson, are not related to Brad Johnson. We wanted Coach Brad Johnson to be a part of this story. He told me over the phone that he can't talk about the situation. Dr. Walker Flannery is a surgeon at orthopedic and sports medicine specialists in Bellevue. In lay terms, what is creatine? So creatine is an energy source that's naturally produced uh, by our body. Fish and meat are, are sources of creatine and uh, it's also been used as a supplement um, pretty commonly over the last 20 years. So if I'm a young athlete, I want to be better at my sport, I come to you and say, doctor, should I take creatine? You'd say? I'd really recommend against it. He says creatine side effects include weight gain, dehydration, muscle cramps, and muscle injuries. Teenagers that are not skeletally mature, um, that risk of uh, injury um, is even higher you know, with uh, muscle injuries uh, without having full, fully developed bones yet. Back in Manoa, Brad Johnson's father, Russ Johnson, is vice president on the school board. He declined to comment on the situation and sat out during a board vote on an unnamed coach's discipline agreement. The football team will be able to have their say on the field. Their season starts in about three weeks. And the school district administrator declined our request for an on-camera interview. She did send us a statement, quote, in this particular case, the district investigated the matter and took prompt and appropriate remedial action pursuant to board policies and WIAA guidelines. All of the parties involved wish to put this matter behind them and move forward in the best interest of the district and its students, student athletes. The coach's discipline agreement with the district says that if its terms are followed, Coach Johnson will have a chance to return as head coach next school year.